first of all, let's uh, start with the approval of the minutes, Meg. Yes. Um, did anyone have any changes to the minutes? I had one small typo that I found on page three in Donna Roy's section. Instead of child, it says L-I-H-D or H-I-L-D. Like there's just a missing letter. Mm -hmm. All right, can, uh, Donna Roy's section now is actually, that should be changed. Her last name is changed to Wood, so I need to All do right. that. And thank you for pointing that out actually. And I'm sorry, minute taking for essential meetings of other OS assigned. Oh, child care, gotcha. Okay. Any other comments? I didn't ever. All right. Okay, Meg, you want to make so, a public comment? You don't have any, right? Yep. You have to approve the move. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I feel out of practice for some reason. Um, all right, all in favor of approving the minutes as amended. Okay. Aye. Oh, actually, was there a second for that? Sorry. Second. All righty, good. Uh, here, is there, uh, you're in charge, but I don't see any uh, attendees, correct, Marion? I do not see any attendees, zero attendees. So that would be no public comment. So we'll move to our next agenda item, which is the logo submissions. And um, I think uh, we'll maybe review and then uh, Marion's gonna pull up the slides. Sure. And then I can chime in and tell you how the voting went. <laughs> how exciting. Drum roll, please. Ooh, where to go? Okay. Okay. Can everybody see? Yep. Okay. Oops. Okay. All right. So the, let's go to slide one A. The one on the right actually made the top five uh, with five votes, two from staff, three from commission members. Um, it also had three number one votes. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is give you the votes for all of them. So you, if you wanna keep a tally, but I do have this and we'll share this document with you that shows all the voting. But if you wanna go ahead and just keep a tally on your own, that's good. 1B unfortunately had no votes. Uh, 2A had seven votes and actually that was very close to our top um, vote getter. 3A had two votes, had zero votes, and I'm sorry, had one vote. <laughs> this, it was rated number two, one vote. 4A had one vote. 5A had three votes. 6A had two votes. F, F1 had two votes. F2 had four votes. F3 had one vote. F4, zero. F5, zero. F6, one. F7, two. F8, two. F9, one. F10, <coughs> one, F11, zero, F12, two, F13, one, 
F14, 0, F15, 0, F16, 1, F17, 4, F18, 2, F19, 6, F17, which is this one, right? It's, I don't see the number by it. Oh yeah, wait. Back this slide. F20. Oh, this one. Yep. F17. Oh, we did 17. All right, that had four. four. Yeah. F18, two. F19, six. I'm sorry, that's wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. F20 is, is, looks like it's the big winner at eight votes. And C1 through E2 all the way to D1 actually had zero votes. So none of those got any votes. D2 though had four votes. And D3 had one vote. Okay. So our top vote getters were 2A. Maybe you can bring those back. Yep. Oh, too far. 2A, yep. Um, with seven votes. 1A with five votes. Let's slip back on that. Then F2. There were three with four votes. So F2 had four votes. F16. No, scratch F16. 17. Nope, that's wrong. D2 had four votes, I'm sorry. F19 had seven votes and F20 had the eight votes. So by, are we the ones that are choosing? Or are no, we just what, well, what, what the plan was is that we were going to put, propose putting out the top three to five to the public and then, then we'll do the contest. So mm -hmm. based on our selection, rather than giving the public, you know, 25 or how many ever there is here, mm -hmm. narrow it down and then go for there. The issue is that I have one, two, three, four. We have four that are like five and above. And then I have two at, so we actually have six because we have two at four that are the, you know, four votes. Why don't we look at the two that were tied for fifth and see if we can cash it out. If one of those, that, that makes sense yeah. to me. So let's look at F2. My fan favorite. The leaf, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I don't understand the leaves and the trees in the, in, in the context of the recreation department. Conservation, yes, but I'm really mystified by trees and leaves. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> all right, well, it's F2. You know, it's everybody's yeah. opinions valued. Yeah. No F2 and uh, D2. Oh, wait, is that? Oh. No, that was the end, sorry. <laughs> Another tree. <laughs> what I like about this tree, I think that was one of mine that I, I picked, is that we can take the inside of the tree, so the outside will become, will always stay the A, but then we can make a, a graphic on the inside of the tree, like for swimming, it can be a swimmer or for volleyball. You know what I mean? Like we can play around with that. 
that mm -hmm. basic design. Uh, and you can always, I know D3 was close, so you can use it, you know, as a vertical or horizontal, depending on where, you, where you're putting it. So that's kind of why I liked that one, or that was one of my favorites, is because you could edit what's inside. The tree can always become an A, you know, it will also symbolize an A. So that was my thing. I felt similar, similarly about D2, because we had talked about using images for sp specific sports or prime time or what have you. And I thought if we were going with that strategy, that this was the most flexible in terms of being different on different things. And I get Sarah's thing about the, the leaves in the tree. I just thought with the A, this one felt a little different. Hmm. Um, and what I didn't like about the other one was the words about like the unity and like community unity, all that, like, I felt like unless they were words from our mission statement, we shouldn't be introducing new words. So that was my, like, I liked the leaf. Yes, Jacob. Sorry. Um, but like, I felt like unless we were able to modify the words to be more in line with our mission statement that we were adding a vocab like we were adding vocabulary to our mission without like having it part of our mission statement no that's a good point thoughts on it i agree i agree so do you want to just take a quick vote right now on which one you prefer between d2 and F2? No, sorry, F. Not that leaf, right? No. This one, no, F2. One. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, are, are we, can we modify any of them or we're just going to put them out to the public? I think we, no, we really can't right now because, you know, uh -huh. these different artists submitted them. I don't think we have an ability yet. I Ooh, mean, it might be a discussion with later f2 has a typo in it so i think we're gonna need to fix that <laughs> where <laughs> unity right. unity oh, is yeah. better <laughs> <Untie. laughs> oh dear oh my gosh nice catch That's good amazing. editor so who's who votes for f2 i see no hands i see no hands d2 I agree. We're, if we right. D two, yes, I agree. All right. So. The other one's pretty, but I think this one's better for us. Mm -hmm. I do too. I look pretty, but that's okay. I'm. I think I, I actually prefer the other solutions anyway. So that gives us five. Now the question is: is is five, you know, a good number? Should we consider going to three, or do you think five is okay to put out to the public? How are we going to put this out in, in, in a newspaper ad or a page Marian, in a newspaper? Maybe you can. Good question. Um, yeah, we were we were going to um, put this out on on our social channels. We were going to make a little um, introduction with the um, you know with the artwork and not necessarily say who did it yet, just because right, Barb. We were going to kind right. of wait um, and use our social channels for the most part. Yeah, and then obviously make a news item on our new website so that people know about the vote. And um, I think we could also do a little email blast, but I think print might be a little trickier because it might just be hard for people to pick it. So oh, the main the main thing would be on, <laughs> on Facebook because it can take like polls, right? And count everything up. Yeah, Facebook okay. has really nice um, voting um, capability and and you could do it too on Instagram but okay so the email blast everything would have a link sending to the Facebook poll yeah on the yeah on the web. okay I think that's probably the easiest way to do it Bef and then just set leave... whatever timeline we need I'm sorry before we leave this um looking at what's what's in front of us I have two questions one I mean it might be too late for both of them but one of them is are, are we supposed to use certain colors to be part of a town identity program? No, not. Remember that this is a, sort of an informal mm -hmm. logo. The, the town logo supersedes this one. 
Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, that's a good comment that they probably, you know, might be desirable to have them complimentary, certainly. And if my other, okay, my, my other um, thought is that this town of Amherst, Mass on the D2 I, is the one thing that makes me like it most because I feel like, um, we don't include it in a lot of these logos, but I think it's important to put it in. And partly even town of Amherst, you know, could be New Hampshire or New York, several places. York. And um, I feel like it's important to have town of Amherst Mass or something that locates us better. So if we could do that with some of the other ones that we voted for, if we can all agree, or if we do all agree, maybe we need to have that changed before we put them out to the public. Well, I think that would be changing what the artist actually um, intended. We can always add that in the letterhead or whatever we're doing too. Uh -huh. I mean, that can be part of our messaging. Okay. Well, will we have the option once once the public has spoken? <laughs> can we go back and discuss with the artist? Like, can you do? Can you tweak it in this? Yeah. These I, ways. I, so, yeah, I would personally yeah. want to do that. And yeah. have, mm -hmm. Like if we go back to the first couple, you know, some of them are really busy to me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, for example, if you, I, I this love- This is a top rated one, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, but let's go to the other ones. The first couple that were on the page on the... So I think we need to have an agreement with some of these <laughs> guys that we, you know, we, we may use their, des their design, but, you know, we're going to have to adapt it to different things. Oh, so, yeah, okay, so next next page. Yeah, it's something, I mean, I love this Amherst Recreation, town, town of Amherst, just very simple, like without the left-hand side, but the left-hand side could be the sport or the event, or you know what I mean? Like, use that, but I don't like the four together myself, but I love the Amherst Recreation part. Yeah, I, I agree. Felt similarly to that, I also couldn't figure out what the clock was for. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like... I couldn't, and we don't have a lot of biking programs. So I like, I couldn't see the types of programs. Like I'd want the circles to be more representative samples of like the kind of services we provide. That's what I liked about the other, the top rated one because it had the fireworks, it had nature, it had like sports. Like I wanted something that like, when I was looking at it, I wanted something that kind of amplified what we were doing, you know, as opposed to just like, oh, it's a cute logo kind of thing. We're talking about the on the right, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think only the first, the hand-drawn one, I, I think that is the only one to allude to music at all. And, and mm -hmm. I don't see, otherwise I don't see music. I don't see the theater, you know, the musical. It's, it's very sports heavy. And certainly that's a lot of what the department does. Maybe it's most, but it's definitely not all. So I'm, I'm a little sorry not to see. And one reason I like F20 is that it does have fireworks in it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It does have, and it does have, yeah. you know, dumbbell or whatever. There's a leaf again. I don't know why, but you know, I would personally it, take out the dumbbell and put maybe a musical note in there or something. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think uh, you know, I think that's something that we could discuss later. I mean, the concept of this is, I really like it, yeah. um, but perhaps those are interchangeable. Sort mm -hmm. of what we have now. We don't do that very often anymore, but. Uh, initially, the intent was to have it interchangeable. There was a swimmer, which I used in the aquatics mm -hmm. one. There was a basketball player in the, L the old LSSC logo. But that could certainly be done with that logo. So right now, what are like the top three that would be going out to, to the public? 19 and F20 and 2A are the top three. We, we can't hear you, Barbara. I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, F19 and 20, these okay. two, right? Yeah. And uh, 2A. 2A? Yes. Is that a cricket um, thing, though? Either that or a bottle of wine. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, now you're talking. <laughs> 
I didn't. I like, kind of think five options is a little too many. much. Like maybe like putting, putting it on three. Facebook. That's what I. Yeah, putting it on Facebook, people would have to scroll five, you know, through each picture. Like you kind of lose interest and you're like, how, how many? I don't know. People would just vote on the first three and the last two don't really get as many, many mm -hmm. views. I, like, I don't know. I like that the three top ones are so different from each other, from one another. Yeah. Um, it's not like, oh, close enough. It's like very different. So mm -hmm. I think going with top three would be work out. Yeah, because they're not as similar. Right. Yeah, I think five is too many. Yeah, I think you're, I, I would agree with that. Um, my suggestion too is to be sure that they're all blown up to the exact same size. This mm -hmm. two way is a nice size. You can really see the definition and right. it makes it easier for people to see it. Is everybody in agreement with that then? You wanna go three? I am. Mm -hmm. Can we compromise with four? <laughs> What's, yeah, the what's the one fourth one? one? <laughs> I think because it's preliminary, I don't see a problem with having more. Like we're not, you know, we're not voting on the final final. You know what I mean? We're still going to add in, to, you know, and I don't know. I think five what's is good, actually. Mm -hmm. I think I like five. Can like, we see the last two then? I have Four to vote on this. So... I think, I, and Stephanie, I think part of the confusion is we have so many right now that five still sounds like a lot. But I think if you yeah. only have five on one page, I think it might be, it may not seem as as crowded. And I think and then, maybe when we present it on Facebook, that'll be nice. The, the first picture will be showing all five. Right. And then as you click, you know, the next picture will show each individually. And then people can go back to the first I think so. Photo and and I think we option. should, yeah, and we should say that these are not the final designs, but these are the conceptual designs at the moment. Okay. So nobody gets mm -hmm. upset with us. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. so then the way we present it to the public and on Facebook, that's what I would yeah. really care if we're going to do five over three, just how we present it. So, you know, they don't feel overwhelmed. Right. Yeah, and I like your idea of having everything on one page and then having them go to each one. and, and Individually. And yeah. yeah. Does that work, Marion, since you're, you're going to be doing the. Yeah, that's that should work. Um, I can definitely make that happen. Yep. And what do you think um, our timeline should be? So, I mean, the website's already up and right now we're just kind of living with nice text and sort of general fonts, um, but they all kind of are woven through all three of the main sites, our site, um, police and the town of Amherst site. So they're all like on the same font family. Um, so I think when we do this, um, it might it might need a little bit more work on our website to still make it integrated and look like the rest of the town site. So it doesn't look so crazy different. If we go, if the one that we vote on looks a lot different, you know? Mm -hmm. So it could it could just be a little bit of time that we have to work through and get the style sheet worked out. So I don't know, two weeks. What do we think? I think that sounds good to me. Okay. I don't, let's, what's everybody else think, though? There's a school vacation, you know, in February. So you might want to close the voting beforehand. Not, I mean, maybe no, nobody goes great. anywhere. <laughs> But it's three weeks before February break. So I think that's plenty of time to. Okay. I mean, not more than that. Well, the shorter, the better, I think. You know, like somewhere 10 days to two weeks, in my opinion. So are we saying pu put this out and allow people to vote for two weeks? Or are we saying we want to have our answer in two weeks? Allow people to vote for two weeks. Okay. So we could put it out February 1. That's a Monday. Uh -huh. And then have it do the 15th or something. Uh huh. Will it, will it take, I mean, it's 10 days, 11 days till February, is it? 
Is there a lot? It won't to take do? that long. So if we want to wrap that, like I, I could was... probably have it ready next week. It's Wednesday now, so yeah, I could probably have it ready on the twenty fifth. Yeah. Why not? Why wait? Sure. Yeah. And then if it gets out, we could also put it out in the superintendent's newsletter. If it was sent to their office, it could go out in their email blast to families. You could also ask principals to send it out in their weekly communications. Mm -hmm. But it's still, would the polling still be open around Winterfest time? Yeah, yeah. we could make it, it until be. February, February 8th or- Kind yeah. of like a last, a last push. That's yeah. a great idea. How about 20th, 25th through the, through February 8th? Okay. Yep. It's a little longer than two weeks, but it gets us through that weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Any more comments, questions about the logo search? Great. Hey, Marion, why I have you on uh, on the screen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe could you give an update about the website and um, what's happening with registration with uh, RecTrack? About what? Sorry, you got a little broken up. Yeah, I seem to be breaking up tonight. I'm sorry. Um, could you oh, give RecTrack quick update? Yeah, about the website and RecTrack. Yeah. Um, so the website is up. We've been kind of continuously auditing it and finding, you know, and I think we're going to keep finding little remnants of LSSC here and there. So if, if you ever poke through and see something, let us know. Um, but I'm catching them and, and really just kind of doing a little whack-a-mole with it. Um, as we catch it, we fix it. So um, that's going really well. Um, I think it's really pretty. My favorite feature that we now have is this like um, news and announcement section. So like something that's coming up, you can um, have this kind of lead in text. And so then you can read on or read more, I think it says, and it takes you to another page where then you see more of our sort of upcoming things. Um, and we also have a recreation calendar, which we can use more as well. I put our commission meeting on there and I put um, the ice sculpture events. So as more and more starts happening, that'll be um, easy for us to keep up with. And people can subscribe to that calendar so they can get little push notifications if we put up a new, um, a new calendar event or news item. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then as far as our registration system, the rec track um, migration is going on right now. It's taking a while, but, um, and it's gonna require a, a lot of cleanup. It's an old program that's been running for I, 20 years, Barb, maybe? Oh, at least, yeah. At least, okay. So there's just like a ton of data. And so um, fixing what we can in the old system. And then once the new system is up, we're still definitely gonna have both some um, cleanup to do and training so that we're um, able to utilize our beautiful new interface and it's gonna look a lot more um, <laughs> aesthetically pleasing and you'll be able to look on it on your phone because right now our site is not mobile friendly. Well, the site is, but the registration site is not. Um, so that, that soon will happen and that'll be really nice so people can not feel frustrated using um, our registration site. So more to come, yeah, and I think it'll be, um, I'm hoping everyone, all the, you know, the um, leadership staff <laughs> of ours will all be like embracing the change. Cause I think it'll, I think it's gonna look more similar to like what current um, platforms we work in. It won't be so like archaic looking, so ugly. <laughs> um, so that's it. That's great. Yeah. Uh, anyone have any questions on that? about what's going on there. Great. Um, awesome. Thank you, Marianne. So if you want to, you're welcome to leave. Or yeah, sure. I um, just want to make sure you're the turn it host over. now. Um, I'm going to make you the host. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>
the next item is Cherry Hill. And um, just to give you an update on, on where we're at with the, the, the uh, subcommittee. Uh, again, it's if Paul has now committed to making that happen. I had a meeting with him and Dave Zomack last week. And uh, he, so he's moving this up on his priority list. Um, he sees, you know, sort of the importance, the urgency. And uh, so we're probably looking at, at within the next few weeks, you'll be hearing something, I believe he said on January uh, 25th at a meeting that he'll announce that this committee is forming and be looking for um, folks to go ahead and, and uh, apply for that uh, appointment. So that's good. Um, winter aquatics programming. So our winter aquatics programming, I'm sorry, were there any questions about Cherry Hill? Sorry. Yeah, Sarah? I had a question. Did you work out whether it's a subcommittee of this body or who it, to whom it's reporting? I'm leaving, I'm leaving that up to the town clerk and Paul. Okay. I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. They'll 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 come up with the proper I see. Okay. Whatever. Uh so maybe he's announcing it to council. They don't they mean yeah, he'll be yeah. announcing it to council and yeah. um, then it'll go from there. Great. And they'll Great. put it out officially. Um let's see. Winter aquatics program. We've hit a snag. The mm -hmm. middle school pools filters are broken. So uh, they're looking to repair those. So it won't be probably, I don't want to say probably until March, if we can start up a program because, you know, they have to first find the money, then go through the procurement process and that all takes time. And then the actual work. Uh, so those filters apparently have to re be replaced. So that that's on hold indefinitely at this point. It's, it's unfortunate because, you know, I did have the coordinator had agreed to return this year to help us out. And we had some, some staff who were interested in returning. So, it, you know, with the, with the limited program, we were, uh, you know, initially trying to um, project to offer, uh, um, but we were ready to go, but it doesn't look like that's uh, in the, the near future, but fingers crossed that gets done and we can maybe get a couple of months of lap swim and open swim in, uh, in at the end of the spring. What are, uh, Becky, this is just a side question. Do you know what this, what's happening with the swim team by any chance? Um, so I watch every school committee meeting, I know. Um, so at the last school committee meeting and the last update I got from Victoria for the high school newsletter is that they were going to, um, they had made arrangements to use the Belchertown High School pool and rent it from Belchertown High School. So they were gonna be using that in the morning, like early morning for practices, but Belchertown hit red for mm. COVID numbers. And so that put a pause on like, you can't use the school building. Like they, could, they can't rent out the pool when their communities in the red, which is Belchertown's perimeters. Mm. Um, and they were investigating whether or not as an outside agency not affiliated with Belchertown, whether that was still the case for this one team and um, school committee meeting tomorrow night. So I can um, let you know after um, that, but Victoria has not, in her last announcement, there was nothing about swimming in that. Uh -huh. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was concerned about that. Um, I'm not sure. I think the Tritons may still be at Hampshire College. I'm They're not... at Hack, I believe. Oh, at Hack. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Should All be right. interesting. Good. Yeah, it's a shallow. That's a real shallow. Yes. Uh, shallow one. <laughs> All right. Go for the um, little ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's limited, limited water space. That is for sure right now. Um, all right. Moving down to the next item, um, child care remote learning assistance program. Uh, we are this close <laughs> to uh, getting approval for that, that expansion. Uh, we have, our program is completely full right now. So this would give us an additional 18, 20 slots. Uh, there's just some minutia that we're working out with the state. Uh, they had some issues with some records that we have. And so I think that'll be resolved uh, probably by tomorrow. 
So we'll we'll be look, we're working with the schools. They will be giving us the referrals, as I um, have we, we have done in the past. But the principals are now working with the uh, the school department, uh, not separately. So everybody's working together to get their kids referred into this into our program. And in addition, we're also still serving uh, town employee children. So we should end up between 38 and 40 children in the program uh, once we get this up and running. So that's good. With free breakfast, free lunch, snacks uh, for all the kids, uh, transportation if, they're, if they need it. So it's a really great program. And uh, I have to give my uh, props to the staff who have done just an outstanding job of pulling this off safely in this kind of environment. So uh, it's, it's good. Winterfest, Winterfest presents. So obviously a very scaled down Winterfest, not, not our usual Winterfest, you know, week long, but it's all right. We're focusing on one event this year, <laughs> one very safe COVID unfriendly <laughs> event called uh, Winterfest presents ice sculptures on the common, a drive through event or experience. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll put you on the spot. Yousef, you want to talk a little bit about it so I don't do all the talking all the time? <laughs> so this was kind of an idea that was brought to us by Gabriella the bid and it was it was kind of mimicking some other events that happen in a couple of different places. So the, the idea is to have 11 or so uh, huge, like 11 foot maybe, or, or really large, I forget the size, uh, sculptures and they would be on What's the street where the Jeff is? The you know, Boatwood. Uh, Boatwood. 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 Yeah. Boatwood. Yeah. So and then they they'll be like un lighting that's gonna come from Northampton's event. You know, so they have these big mm -hmm. pedestals with the top that you, know, you can light up the whole thing. Uh, and we're trying to get sponsors to promote it. And so it'll be a one-way street. We're gonna block the street. It's gonna be one way. We're gonna have a bunch of different mascots from. You know, like hopefully the UMass guy, we have the, the Caterpillar won't be able to come, but there'll be like the Caterpillar car with the Caterpillar in it. Uh, I think we're going to get like the Encharter, Hootie, you know, their owl. You know, so we're going to try to get different mascots from the area to be, because, you know, to catch people while they're driving through. Um, so it's still kind of in the middle of, you know, we're right at the point now where we're putting it together, but we're, we're actually getting a bunch of sponsors at the moment. Becky? Um, two things. My son would love to be um, flaky again. <laughs> oh, <perfect>. oh. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. <laughs> he really loved doing that. So, <laughs> Jacob's on. Um, and then, as you're looking for sponsorships, is there a way we can tie a little more with the bid for like pickup locations or something, drive by pickup? kind of thing where people are going through because i'm assuming parking will be difficult with the cars like i'm just trying to think like we ask businesses downtown for like sponsorships and all this all the time i would love to do something where we're like and you know like these restaurants will have like drive up pick up kind of just something mm -hmm. where it makes it a little easier to get for people to get pick up your food drive by see the light so it feels more partnershipy because I know small businesses have been like so hurt um, by the pandemic so I would just want to make sure that we were we were really working with the bid and if that's something well it, it, it's a joint venture between us the bid and the chamber so okay. the bid is totally in it. They're the ones who okay. brought the idea. In. And I'm hoping that they're going to incorporate some of the stuff because we're trying to get people not to get out of the car there. So I think they're going to find out, find ways for them to go and, and you know, somehow do some, you know, dinner or whatever. But that's a good point. I'll make sure that we tell her to, you know, to maybe build that into it or somehow figure out a way to do a tie-in. Like a route where you like pick up your food on the, like, I know it adds like a complication, but if you like this section of restaurants, pick up here, this section of restaurants, pick up here, like something where we're like, these businesses support almost every activity that we do with LSSE or Amherst Rec. So like, I really want to make sure that we're, we're doing what we can back 
and promoting our event with, you know, dinner and a drive kind of thing. I don't know. I think the uh, the bid I would just like to add on um, the bid is very um, cognizant of that, if you will, and that's you know pretty much the driving force between really having it downtown uh, to bring people downtown to do that kind of thing. So, but you know we haven't. I don't think we've formalized what how that process could work out. So I will definitely and and Yusef I'm sure will too. You know kind of put that bug in Gabrielle Gabrielle's ear. And see how we can um, enhance that a little bit more. It's a great suggestion, though. The original idea, just so you know, or, or one of the ideas that was kicked around, is to have different things around town, like in different places, and have people go like almost like a uh, scavenger hunt, you know. Mm. But then it just got to be like, you know, how do you make sure you monitor it, make sure the stuff doesn't get all trashed and things like that, and and it just becomes, I think, more complicated to explain. But that was kind of one of the ideas was to do that for that purpose, to try to get people around. Definitely. I'm wondering yeah. about, excuse me, yeah, the people who don't have cars, uh, there's no sidewalk, if I understand where, if these are going to be put at the bottom edge of the, the commons, two parts of the commons. Um, so how are people who travel by bus or you know, whatever, are they, how are they going to be able to? Well, do that's all this? A, it's a good question, and um, you know, it's not, it's something I've thought about too. You know, we have the same issue with Halloween. How to keep people safe is first our is our number one priority. Um, certainly, they'd be viewable during the day, anytime. It's not like they're you know shut off. They're going to be exhibited as until they melt, basically. Mm. So um, the fifth and sixth are sort of the formal part. Two hours, five five to seven, they'll be lit. Um, they'll they'll have the mascots there. It's sort of the showcasing of it, but mm -hmm. people are welcome to come anytime okay. and walk around on their own. You know, and will, and face will mask. Be, yeah, thank you. Okay, and will there be no parking along? Oh, Correct. There's no parking on right opposite town hall. But further along, the parking is on the common side. Yeah. So she's gonna. Uh, Gabrielle's working with the town, and and I'm helping too to get that blocked off so that that'll all be open and there'll be like a it'll be a designated route. Thank you. I can't wait. I love ice sculptures. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> is there? Oh, sorry, as Sarah said that, I was thinking. I wonder if there's a way to make sure that at least one is visible from that bus stop um, area that's right at the top of the Spring Street parking lot area down near Boltwood oh, okay. so that people going by on buses could have access like a taste, you know, like not that it would be the whole experience, but that way we're at least like acknowledging, you know, that some people might only view it, you know, it's that way. Mm -hmm. I'll let, yeah, the, uh, Gabrielle's kind of handling the placement of these and, um, you know, I'm trying to work on some of the log logistics like the electrical and so forth. So we mm -hmm. all have different pieces and fundraising. So far, we we had two sponsors come to us. And uh, I know there's more that have already verbally committed, but we've already raised a thousand dollars, which, you know, yeah. we were, LSSC was going to only raise, um, our, our uh, responsibility was about 1500. So we're hoping to even raise more so we can, put more into advertising in some other areas. Yeah, you know Sarah. What, I think we need bar of... bills one and bar bills two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sarah, go oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that when I was doing like the roll call. I was like, wait, there's two bar. It totally threw me. <laughs> um, as these melt, Oh, well, they're just they're just not secured, right? And I'm concerned if people are going to come and try to climb on them or push them over or what, you know, they if they become unstable at some point, is somebody just going to be checking on them every few hours and knock them down if they're getting hazardous? What you know, we've we've had these the we had what two or three last year, didn't we? Uh, you said. Mm -hmm. And they and they were pretty good size and they melted down and, and they kind of do it a gradual thing or, you know, we've also had a couple of years where 
you know, like the, the oh. college kids kind of knocked them down, but oh. yeah. it, it is, yeah, I don't, I, we, you know, they're right in the center of town. So, you know, I, we can ask the, uh, maybe APD to, you know, just keep an eye on them, but. Well, you said they were very large, I think. So I, I don't I'm wondering think what, is this like eight feet tall or? Yeah, probably eight feet would be the max. Okay. They said life size. So I'm assuming, yes, yeah, seven, oh. eight feet, you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay. So just a, a director's report. December was, you know, with the holidays and so forth, was a, a little on the lighter side in terms of what's going on. Um, Sports uh, that we did start the skills uh, development basketball program at Pelham Elementary, and that's going right on right now, and it's going well. Uh, we postponed it a week. Uh, there were some folks who had some concerns, so we addressed those concerns with them. I think they felt a lot better once we we had some time to explain all our protocols and so forth, and uh, we have some really good things in place as far as safety and uh, the kids are loving it. So it's good. Uh, we also started a park engagement program and I have to um, commend uh, Mrs. Marion's idea. And it was winter walks with Amherst Recreation. And uh, it's a new program that activates Mill River Recreation Area and Groff Park with multiple kind of winter friendly activities. So what we've done, we've put some signs in the ground and then you can, and, there, and there's, uh, you know, the codes where you can take your phone and QRV, whatever that is, and boom, it, it explains things. It's really cool. So if you get a chance, or if you have kids, bring them up there. It's good stuff. Um, I helped put the Groff Park signs up and uh, we should have the mill ones up this week as well. And how long will they be up? It's just like- Just probably week. the rest, probably the rest of the, the year. I mean, till summer. Yeah, great. Becky. So typically they, um put the chain across Groff Park parking lot anyway in the winter? Is that not the case this year? No, it's not the case, it's okay. open. It's open and uh, there were a lot of kids playing when I was up there yeah, last week. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So it's getting, getting a lot of use. Uh, let's see, aquatics we've already talked about, golf course talked about, uh, prime time we've talked about. Pretty much adult and youth education, sort of limited. Um, yeah, I will say you may have read in the paper, and I don't know if this is on here or not, about our van, uh, the recess van. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, program that really Amherst, the Amherst Booster Club got the grant for and approached us about helping. So we have one of our instructors, Cedric Gannett, who's been working with us for years and um, he's doing some programs with them and then the recess van follows the food truck and has and they have a couple of college kids that use our van basically and provide uh, recreational program for kids just recess stuff so it's it's great and it's gotten a lot of good press so that's good very good uh, uh, we've talked about the name change already uh, the logo I should say uh, the website upgrades and I think that pretty much does it. I did include just the different areas that uh, our staff is working. Donna Roy uh, also will be helping the finance department for the next uh, few weeks. They need, their, they need some help with some of the CARES money and documentation and so forth, tracking, whatnot. So she's gonna help the finance department with that. Uh, our budgets are just sort of beginning the process of um, sort of being vetted with the town manager. I do have concerns that we may lose a program director position that Stacy had. So we'll, uh, I will keep you posted about that. Uh, but, you know, next year is going to be a tough year. Uh, I kind of see that most of our programs in the summer will be up and running pretty much full strength. <clears throat> so, uh, We'll see how we do minus one, you know, minus another person. It is what it is. Uh, I don't think there were, there were other cuts that were made last year that I was under the understanding that they were 
um, you know, because of COVID and that they would be reinstated. But it appears now we have to ask for them to be reinstated for the FY22 budget. So interesting times. We'll do all right though. We do, with, we do what we can with what we have and we do a pretty good job. So all good. But then, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. Does anyone have any questions on the report? I just had a quick question about um, the summer pools. Is it possible that they could open earlier? I mean, I don't know if it'd be warm enough, but. Yeah, you know, some of the issue there is just get, we have to get the staff back from wherever they go right. to school, <laughs> get them back into Amherst, get them trained and get them up again. And the pools, you know, it, I don't know. That's a good question. We tend to open the last day um, or, or the weekend after the last day of school. It's been historical. Yeah. We can look into it. I think we, it seems like September's are warmer than June. I know. So, you know, last year we stayed open until the 27th of September at Mill River. Yeah. And it was darn cold. I'm, you know, you can speak yeah. to that, <laughs> Carolyn. But uh, toward that last week, I, I don't think we do it that late again. <laughs> but maybe two weeks into September. Yeah, the guards stopped wearing their suits, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> they were all bundled up all day. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, a little, little nippy. But we have good attendance. There's troopers yes. out there, those lap swimmers. You know, yeah. Barb, I always thought that um, starting before schools closed would be really nice. <laughs> Um, to give adults a little head start on quieter time. Um, you know, so I think that's a great idea if you, if it's at all possible to even start around Memorial Day or maybe the weekend after. I, I know we'd be there. A lot of people bought warmer suits for uh, last September. So we just wear them early this year. School also yeah. gets out much later this year than years past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, yeah, there's something we could, we could investigate that, especially if we can't get the spring season off the ground. I think that's a, it's a, it's a good thing, thing to think about. Um, maybe it's even just weekends or, mm -hmm. um, I know a lap swimmer is one of a regular schedule though. So, <laughs> but it's just a question of staff, but if we could get it, you know, maybe we did a five to seven in the evening or I don't know. Let me think even about it. Even if it was just one of the pools. Yeah. Oh, it would definitely oh. just be one of the pools. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't right. staff two that early. Right. Yeah. Isn't there going to be work at Mill River, though, with the sand? It, or is that delayed till after July 1 with the CPA funding? No, the work actually is, it, it won't involve the pool. It's, it's the basketball court. It's all the monies that we have. There's like three or four different pots of monies that we're doing to redo the basketball court. But there's repaying the repair of the pool. Yeah. That is a CPA. Oh, no, no, that project. won't happen. That won't happen in the spring. That's at the end okay. of the season. It couldn't happen before July 1st, and right. then there's water in the pool. So, okay. correct. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Meg. All right. So, I guess we're scheduling your next meeting. I'm just throwing this out Wednesday the 24th. The, I don't know if people have plans for February vacation, so I didn't want to schedule. It works for me. 24th is good for me. Okay with me. I'm not going works anywhere. <laughs> All right, I'll cancel, I'll cancel my trip then. <laughs> oh, you can participate from anywhere. It doesn't that matter. True. Right. Oh, that's true. <laughs> We know you're just going to Chicopee, so come right. on. <laughs> I've never been to Chicopee. Maybe. There you go. <laughs> okay. Wednesday, the 24th, 6 p.m. Good. Okay, so uh, do you want to? So we move to adjourn. Yeah. Back in. All in favor. Aye. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful night. You it's too. It's been a great day. 
Yes. It's been a wonderful <laughs> day, man. <laughs> We can all sleep a little better tonight. There you go. Did anyone there else wake go. up in the middle of the night and check their phone just to make sure like nothing catastrophic happened overnight? <laughs> no, I left that to you, Becky. <laughs> <laughs>